thanks for finding my parents. I am so proud that I have a real family. No problem, Jake. Oh, and you are a good and great humble family who live in Monterey in Mexico. I hope you enjoy it well as a family because the United States is a dangerous country for Mexicans. You know, since 2016 with Donald Trump. Sí, ya hemos oído con anterioridad. Estados Unidos es un país peligroso para nosotros los mexicanos, que hay personas racistas, discriminadoras y unos juniors odiosos que son un bueno para nada. Pero ya no hablaremos del tema. Sí, tenemos que hablar el tema de nuestro y único hijo. Well, it is already the last day that you are in this country. Have a nice day on the trip. And you, Jake, behave well with your royal family. Study well in your high school in Mexico and get good grades to be the best in life. Yes, Larry. I will do well with effort to make someone in life. Passengers bound for Monterrey, Nuevo León in Mexico. What are you waiting for? The flight is about to take off. Go to Monterrey before it is too late. Sí, es cierto. Larry, gracias por recuperar a nuestro hijo. Que Dios y la Virgen de Guadalupe te acompañe y te ilumine. Hijo, ya vámonos pa' tu nuevo hogar. All right, Larry. I'm going now. Have a nice day. Goodbye. Goodbye, Jake. Have a nice day, too. Wow, I'm very happy because I have real parents. It makes me the happiest young man in the world. Y lo seguirá siendo mi niño. Mientras lleguemos a casa, te prepararé unas enchiladas de queso bien buenas. Además, te inscribiré en una mejor secundaria para que seas bien educado, bien estudioso y que te conviertas en un hombre de bien. Thanks, Mom and Dad. I love you too. Now you are going to stay here for the rest of your goddamn life. And I strongly mean it. You are a big disgrace and a nuisance to everybody. I never really liked you anyway. You have caused way too much trouble and I really should have done this a long time ago. I hope you fucking die in here. I am actually serious about it. Goodbye forever. You lame excuse for a human being. Please don't leave me mom. Don't leave me starving. You are bad people. I now, we have to smoke marijuana and drink beers until Viley is starving. He really is a scum idiot of putrity. Good idea Ferdinand, we have to get drunk, vent and get drugged until Vali dies of hunger. It smells like a cigarette, where does that smell come from? I'm going to check out the window. Yes Emma, locking our daughter in the bathroom tied in the chair and with an empty stomach is a good and exotic idea, our daughter became a big disgrace and a nuisance to our family. Nothing could be worse for us. Oh my stars. That is completely outrageous. Oh my crappy god. Someone discovered us outside my house. I'm going to check to kill her. Damn it. She escaped, but sooner or later she will go back to sniffing out the window. If she shows up, I'll kill her and bury her in my yard. I'm going to tell my friends that Viley is kidnapped and then call the police about it. Open the door right now, is the police. Open the damn door or I'll be forced to kick it multiple times. No. We are high on cocaine and tobacco and we are also very drunk. Oh, oh my, my god, god, why did Bingo. I say that? I'm going yeah. to kick the door You're several times. Idiot. You have no way out, why you child you abusers that? bastards. I'm gonna fu- Eh hey, ha 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 ha, here are the child abusers. Let's catch them. Well 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 look what we just noticed. Some idiotic parents smoking marijuana and smoking inside the house. And what we just found is a box full of marijuana and drugs. This? It? So? This is a Now? Give us an explanation. Why is there a box full of drugs and why is Bali locked in the bathroom tied up and starving? Um, ah, uh, sir? Is it because, um, she was too, uh, rebellious towards us? Because she was a mum mum high and we put these boxes of fag, I mean, drugs to throw them, uh, away? Liars. You dead. How dare you two take drugs and kidnap Viley by letting her starve to death in the bathroom. We cannot believe it. Drugging and leaving a girl tied up without eating is a very serious crime. Ferdinand Devlin Cartman and Emma Margaret Anderson? 
Both you are under arrest for drug trafficking, child abuse, kidnapping, child neglect and murder of Facundo Estevez Zepeda. They have the right to remain silent. Anything they say can be used against you in a court of law. They have the right to speak with an attorney. If you cannot afford a public defender, one will be provided at the state's expense. Get in the police car right now. Where I am. Oh, gracias a Dios. Estás despierto. ¿Cómo te sientes, señorita? What? I don't understand you. You can speak in English because I don't understand it in Spanish. No te preocupes. También entiendo inglés. Si no entiendes lo que digo, tendré que hablar bien en inglés para ti. Anyway, you are here in the hospital because he noticed that your false parents, a commonly warrior uncles, had locked you in the bathroom. I'm so glad he rescued you just in time, otherwise you probably never would have survived. Daniel Fuen Mayor Ledesma called the police to arrest your false parents and I hope they are serving a long sentence. This is so bull crap. I knew that we should have chosen a less severe punishment for our daughter, but then again, she has killed and kidnapped quite a few people in the past, literally since 2020. I know right? Huh? She managed to escape multiple death penalties and she is still alive somehow. She should be the one in jail, not us. And the authorities should not have put our aliases, me, as scumbitch and you the mu nanyu. Los dos podrían callarse sus propias jetas por favor? Se comportan como idiotas. In the meantime, after you leave the hospital, you will have to move in with your real parents forever, because we are sure that your uncles will be sentenced to the death penalty. Wow, really? Yes. Them will be died on April 7. Oh? He found out beforehand that your uncles massively traumatized you to such a degree that you became a troublemaker. Lack of affection and inattention were what led you to become that way because of your uncles. Besides, tomorrow you are going to leave the hospital. And you are going to live with your real parents so that you can live a better life. Thank you Dr. Martinez. No problem. Besides, you have to give the last words for your uncles before sentencing them to the death penalty? Yes, I will go with them to give some very hurtful and insulting words to my false parents. It sounds mean and insensitive. But it's okay, but it will accompany you with your parents Giselle and Larry to jail. KK. Viley, why in God's name are you out of your bathroom? You're supposed to be died in stuff. But wait a second, why do you have your baggage? Are you going to return to our house so as not to continue abusing you? We will treat you with dignity. Pair of hypocrites do not know what they say. Also, our daughter Viley wants to say something about you too. Tell us what? Tell us Viley. What do you want to tell us? I want all two of you to listen up, and listen good. I have been suffering for the past 17 years, day and night, being grounded by all of you for everything I do. I try to have fun, but you all keep me from doing that. I can't be the person I want to be when you all keep grounding me. At this time, I will moving out of your house, so that way I can live a better life. Not being grounded all the time. What? No. Viali? You can't do that. We know that we've grounded you all the time. We do it just to keep you safe. We don't want you making bad decisions as you grow older. Yeah. We're just doing what we can do so that way you can succeed, Viali. It may not seem like it, but we love you, very much. You love me? What? You love me? That is a motherfucking lie. And you know that? If you all loved me, you all wouldn't be grounding me for every single I do. You both have put me through so much bullshits. That I just can't take it anymore. I am moving up because I have been treated like crap for a good portion of my life. And for all the reasons that Viley started, we will also be moving out. You stole our daughter since she was a five-month-old baby, Emma. You are the worst sister I have ever had and a bad mother, 
Andrew Ferdinand a bad brother-in-law and a bad father. You two are a disgrace to our family. You don't deserve to be good parents to your children. We both cannot take it anymore. We just want to live in life. Do you both have any final words to say to us before we are out of your house and here? Viley, we are very sorry for how we've treated you for all this time. We just felt a little disappointed in your behavior. We won't ever treat you that bad ever again. Well it's too late for apologies and sympathy. You both have done it for too long now. We are fed up with it. If you are excuse us, we are out of here. You can kiss this little girl's cheeks goodbye. Wait Viley, Larry and Giselle. No, stay away from us. They are child abusers and damn oppressors. And that is the very end of it. If you excuse us, we are out of here. We never want to see any of you ever again. <laughs> we've been the worst persons ever. We've been the worst persons wow. ever. We've been the worst persons 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 ever. with the evidence presented by the defense and the prosecution, by the statements of the young Violi Margaret Anderson, by the evidence of the legal studies and the complaints against Emma Margaret Anderson, and Ferdinand Devlin Cartman, are found guilty of the murder of Victor Estevez Zepeda, attempted murder of citizen Violi Margaret Anderson, as well as guilty of child abuse, child neglect, rape, drug trafficking and child theft, and they are sentenced to the death penalty. Well, that's it for now. Case closed. Welcome to the fleeting game called Burning the Muni in Maria. I am Bulma Hassag, and this is Psych of Big Chatera. And today we are going to cook Ferdinand the Muni in Maria Deathling as an execution method. Now. Are you ready to burn Ferdinand Devlin alive once and for you all? Yes, 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 yes. Okay, everyone, so get ready. Now, let's burn that child abuser and good for nothing grounding dad for treating Vinny Anderson like crap. All against domestic violence and child abuse. We are going to burn him to me once and for you all. Goodbye, cruel world. <laughs> the Munio is cooked. That means he has already died. Let's celebrate the death of Ferdinand Devlin Cartman. The child abuser went to help burn the dead. Please don't do anything to me. I swear to you that I will be a good person with everyone especially Viley. Emma, you don't have a chance to change your mind. You have failed as a person, you have committed several heinous crimes since 2002, such as that you stole Viley from your sister. What the hell is wrong with you, Emma, my own older sister, you are the worst sister I have ever had in my life, you are the worst human being that ever lived, you are the worst person in the world. I wish my mom gave you an abortion as dead. If my daughter would be with me without you, my life would be very happy with my family. I'm ashamed of you, and I hate you, I hate you all my might. You came into our house to take Violi back with you. You also locked me up with my family, tied us up, gagged us and left our house without electricity. You are seriously mentally ill. You are a serial abuser. Besides, 
You murdered my boyfriend because Facundo insulted you by calling you a scum bitch. I hope you deserve to be insulted, you don't deserve to live on earth. We should do with you, kill you with bullets. Alright guys, get your guns ready and let's shoot her. Yes! yes. No 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 no. Good news for Los Angeles residents, Emma Margaret Anderson and Ferdinand Devlin Cartman have been confirmed to have died after committing crimes such as child abuse, drug trafficking, child theft, rape, kidnapping and child neglect. All the inhabitants reacted their happiness after their execution. Viley Margaret Anderson lives happily with her true family with love, peace and harmony. This is Gloria Saints. Stay tuned. A good day to love myself, hopefully in these two months, I overcame my trauma and left my past behind. Well, my real parents treated me so good and with dignity, now I have healed my sanity, and my way of being. Thanks to my mother Giselle, who helped me a lot to move forward, like a good path. Sweetie? Do you want to go with us to Venice Beach to have fun together as a royal family? Oh my god yes, I will go with you to the beach. Congratulations finally. We are very proud of you that you graduated, even your teachers and the principal certified you a scholarship. That means that you are going to university, to become someone in life and be a good girl. Thank you, Mom, Dad and Marilyn for supporting me and helping me during these eight months of getting out of my pain and my sufferings that my uncles put me on it, being a ruthless problem, but we will not talk about it, the past is past. Yes, what matters to us is the present. But also, I bring a surprise for you. Really? Tell me dad what is it? What is today's surprise dad? Follow me. Ta-da! Oh my god we were gorgeous and fabulous as a family. Oh it can't be, I came out beautiful with that family poster. Yes, 
the truth is, I look adorable, besides my dad looks very handsome as a Spanish soap opera hard top and my mom a beautiful flower. Um, uh, thanks daughter, besides, you already made me blush because of what you said about me. But it does not matter. But you know one thing guys, that this family poster, we will be a happy, harmonious, peaceful and true family without pain, sadness and violence. What a beautiful family we live in today, isn't it Larry? Yes honey, a happy, harmonious, peaceful and true family will be totally infinite for us. We. Are. A happy family.